Okay, Mistia, Icon, and all their games, but we got something new. We got solo modes. Been taking a long time to get here. Let's do the little unboxing right now. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and watching. We're going to get into the unboxing. and But before we do, remember to like and subscribe. I am trying to build the channel out. And if you can support us, we are presently on Kickstarter with Lords of LA. Uh, this is issue one, but issue two is what's on Kickstarter right now. You can get issue one as well as like a package. Uh, it is a vampire mob set in 1950s Hollywood. We have... Uh, People come in like Marilyn Monroe, Barbara Stanwyck. You know, we show them on the set and stuff like that. But it is more of an adult book. We have plenty of vampire on vampire ripping and gore. And uh, we have a little bit of nudity and sex and violence and car chases and anything you'd possibly want in a, uh, in a comic book. So anyway, uh, it's 48 pages. It's not very expensive. And if you guys can support, please do. You can click the QR code. The description is in uh, uh, the link is in the description below. Or you can just go right to kickstarter.com and type in Lords of LA. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. If you can support, I, uh, I am trying to, uh, to continue it uh, on and continue doing additional comics. All right. Thank you for doing for doing that, and uh, let's get uh, into uh, Mystia and Icon. So as two games that I have, I think they're by Tabula Games. Uh, I do like Mystia uh, a bit more than I like Icon. Uh, they uh, one is more of a um, area control game, and the other one is more of uh, a resource management type of game. Um, but I do like them both, and I think they have a unique look, and the artwork is decent, and thinks that's really a pretty game. Uh, and I wish I got it to the table more often, but it's it's more of a popular. They're, they're complicated games for sure, and they have a lot of iconography because they've done uh, multiple languages. So they feel that if they just do one page that has a description of what the cards are, what the iconography is. Then they can just stick as many iconography things on the cards as they want, which makes it kind of difficult to play because you're you're trying to figure out uh, you know what each card does as you're purchasing it or or, or using it, and uh, you know like Amistia is more as a, of a tableau. You're creating a tableau, uh, and the other one's like creating crystals and things like that. But anyway, I've waiting for been waiting for this solo uh, expansion for quite a while. And it's been a while. It's been like a couple of years, at least a couple of years since it's come out. Uh, and the boxes are pretty small. So <laughs> anyway, let's get into it right now and uh, let's see what's in the box. All right, how we doing, everybody? Uh, this has been like a long time in the coming, that's for sure. Uh, so this is uh, both Mystia and Ikeon from Tabula Games. So... I've owned these games for a very long time. I'm, I really haven't taken them to the uh, to the table very often uh, because they're complicated, and you you know you kind of need more than just two people. Um, so I don't get them to the table so often. So I saw that they were doing a Kickstarter for just a solo mode. I had to get it. So, but I mean, it's very very late. Just FYI, uh, very late. So uh, I think it's been <laughs> like a year and a half or something like that uh, for these just these two little boxes to come out. Uh, so apparently it came with some kind of a player mat. So I'm taking a look at this. Uh, but if you're not familiar with Mystia and uh, Ikean, so Mystia is a um, area control game based on some kind of an RPG where you have different islands and the islands are shifting, and you have monsters on those islands, all right? And uh, so you can you can kill the monsters and stuff like that as well, and you can also change the orientation of the, uh, the islands, all right? So Ikeon has a monster running around that you're trying to mine. So you're like putting crystals into the monster, and you're also building 
like odd looking um, factories and things like that uh, that are giving you resources. Okay, no idea what this is for. No idea. Uh, okay. It's like a mouse pad. <laughs> Not exactly what I was expecting, but okay. All right, so let's leave all of that off to the side. Uh, so let's open uh, the Mystia one first. And uh, I'm really hoping that I can, uh, now that I have a solo mode, I can get this to the table more often because it is a really pretty game. And again, if you're not familiar with it, wow, this is very strong plastic. I don't understand the use of very strong plastic. Can I come off and go into garbage anyway? All right, so, um, so the, it says components, uh, six battle cards, five destiny cards, four power cards, six challenge cards, four corrupted champions, Champion uh, cards, double-sided, seven monster reference cards, one solo mode rule book. Oh, wow. That's different. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Uh, they really had to go to town for this game. Wow. Look at this. This is 55 pages long. Uh, okay, so let's just say that these are, you know, because they do a lot of iconography because they did it all in different um, languages. So they made this iconography that's very uh, specific. So let's just say that it's 48 pages instead. Maybe 47, I could probably say. But 47 pages for a solo mode? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! And this, this is, this is the extent of the cards. I mean, that's all that's in here. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason to put this back in the box. This box can go in the trash. Because <laughs> there's, there's no reason that these cards and this rule book can't fit. In a uh, so it's an obviously ninety percent of the time that this year and a half took was writing this rule book. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so there's um, these thingies. It must be some kind of a monster card, um, and it's got yellow, silver, bronze. So you have, that must be a battle card, and this is your award for that. Okay. Um, some kind of hero card. Oh, these are, well, no, these are different. These are double-sided. Um, uh, level one, two, and three. These look like monster cards also, because that's what the monster's artwork looks like. And then you have Spectre. <laughs> I don't know. James Bond Spectre cards. <laughs> that's the one game they've never really made. They've never really made a, uh, a double O card, uh, game, I mean. Uh, Majesty Secret Service type of thing. Lock something, and that's again the one, two, and three. I don't know what that that means. That's why they have explanations uh, in the rule book for what the iconography means, because it's, it's kind of all over the place. Like this is something new. I've never, I've never seen that circle with the arrow, and it's a tableau. You're building a tableau in the game if you've never played it. Um, some kind of phallic reference. <laughs> uh, this may be like the location card situations there. Oh, it's this way. 
that's what the, your character, if you're like a small one, you know, a troop or whatever, that's what that is. And that's hero, the little helmet. And then these are battle cards, apparently. Okay. Uh, I'm very interested to read that book. <laughs> Obviously, it's very in-depth for freaking 50 pages <laughs> on top of the regular rules. That's crazy. Uh, I'm not putting this back in the box. This box is going to trash. No, I, I can fit this in the regular, the regular box. All right, moving on to Ikeon. And there was a way to merge them too. I think there was merge, um, like a booklet that came with it for merging the two games as well. I've never tried that. Like I said, I, I, I keep the games because they're pretty and I knew this was coming eventually. Uh, if not, I probably would have sold it off because again, it doesn't come to the table very often, but hopefully it will now. All right. Oh my God. The same deal, man. Same deal. Beginning a year, during a year. I think that the Velkern turn, I think that's the big monster that's walking around the board. Seeker actions. Ending the game. Okay. So this one is only 21 pages and then we get all this stuff. Rays of light changes to setup. So it's like scenario based. No, it looks like it's the only one. New seeker cards. Interesting. Uh, so, yeah, we got a few extra cards with this one. <laughs> it's almost like the box. It was just built just for the board, for the, uh, um, for the rule book, or else the game box could have been this big. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. So the back, oh wow, there's nothing on the back of this at all. Why? I mean, they should print something on the back. And I haven't read this, this looks like, like hero card situation. I got I. I remember this game less than I do Mystia, and I think I played Lib Mystia less. So I do have to go back and read these rule books. I don't remember anything here. Okay. Uh, so I can't really talk about it because I can't remember what any of this iconography means. I think of the two of them, I like Mystia better. Um, just building and resources and stuff like that is, is not as exciting as area control for me. Um, see, there's the hero uh, iconography, the same as the other one. And this is some kind of a building thing where you're making resources. Here's a TV. And that's victory points. So I, I know some of it, and obviously some of it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and this obviously is all the monster, right? The, the monster's on every, oh, just these cards. And then we have the colored um, things that you mine. And this one has a two on the bottom. None of the other ones have anything. And then we're back to these hero type cards with the same pictures as in, as the uh, eight and a half or eight and a half by 11 by the two, two and a half by three and a half cards. Didn't you? All right, well that's all that's in these. <laughs> I don't know if this is a great unboxing or not, but 
Um, the reason I wanted to do this was because I wanted you guys to know it was out there. So if you do have either one of these games and you're like me where it's not getting to the table very often, um, I wanted you guys to have uh, the knowledge that these things were out there and that you can get them to the table on your own. Um, but yeah, so again, uh, uh, not much, not much to them. Uh, the rule book is the heaviest piece <laughs> of these. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, I might try to do a solo playthrough so I can show you guys, you know, how this works. All right. So yeah, not, not much in the box, <laughs> little cards and a big rule book. Um, so I am I probably have to go back and refresh uh, how to play the game uh, of both of them. But uh, I'm definitely going to jump into Misty at first. I might do a solo playthrough when I know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you can, like and subscribe. I am trying to grow the channel. I appreciate it. And if you can, go to uh, Kickstarter and, uh, and support Lords of LA. I would appreciate that as well. All right. And I'm going to have some other videos pop up here. And if you can uh, want to see anything else I've done in the past, we do music, movie reviews, we do comic book reviews, and, of course, we do some stuff in the gaming world as well. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys have an awesome day. Bye-bye.